Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, I've seen a few posts and I uh, got also a few messages concerning uh, the widgets app not working well. Uh, in some cases it works depending on how you disable or enable the graphics adapter and so on. So a lot of you, um, a lot, a certain number of you can't have widgets working normally. Uh, you know, this is a problem that is common enough in what I see as a Windows 11 problem that the only real solution I can um, think of is twofold. One is uh, updating the graphics adapter to the latest version possible. So um, make sure that you can check if your display adapters are up to date. I have that problem with one machine that I have that has a Intel Iris graphics adapter. It seems that widgets doesn't want to work there. Uh, so it's a common enough problems that a lot of pro people see it. But um, the other thing, if you are at the latest graphics adapter driver uh, for your machine, probably will be to wait for an update of Windows 11 that will fix that problem. I've noticed that the feedback hub in Windows 11 does have that reported uh, many hundreds and hundreds of times. So it means a lot of people, a lot enough people actually have the problem that I would guess they will be looking at it. Unfortunately, uh, that's pretty much the only thing you can do. Uh, I've seen people uh, uninstall the new widgets. You can do it with the PowerShell commands, but. Honestly, I don't think it's going to fix anything, and I'm pretty sure it has to do with the way that the um, the rendering happens in the widgets. Also, I've noticed that depending on how the widgets are installed, sometimes it works. Then you install a specific uh, widget, and it starts crashing. So it could also be some kind of instability within the widgets app itself. Uh, so, but unfortunately, I don't have, there's no real fix for it. Uh, like I said, um, be patient. At some point, I would guess it's going to be fixed. It's going to be one of those things that is going to arrive in a bug fixing update. Um, it also might arrive through the Microsoft Store. So, if it doesn't on its own, make sure that you go to the store. And once you're in the Microsoft Store, make sure that you go to a library on the left side and get updates. Um, I believe the widgets app also gets update from here. So that could also fix something. I've uh, seen a few people saying that when Edge is not the default for HTML and HTM content, some people have uh, crashes of the um, of the apps for the widgets app. So um, that could be because widgets probably uses Edge uh, to display the information you see. And if Edge is not your default, it's not impossible that it actually crashes the widgets. I'm actually going to do a little test with that here on my own and try to uh, fix the uh, widgets. Um, actually, I'm going to try to change my default to Google Chrome for HTM, HTML, open the widgets, see if it still works. If that is the case, then that could be one of the problems of the widgets not working uh, because Edge is not a default. I've seen a lot of people say that that was one of their main problems for uh, the uh, widgets not working. But in any case, I think the only thing you can do is wait, be patient for a fix to arrive or update your graphics adapter because in many cases, it seems to have some kind of problem with the graphics uh, adapter of your computer. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.